Hi, I'm Megan Coffey. I'm a wife, I'm a heart mom, and I'm a creative leader. When I'm faced with adversity like we were for our son Will's open heart surgery, I lean back on my creative roots. All of our roads to open heart surgery are different. Some are windy, some are unexpected, and for us, ours was long. Uh, we knew early on um, that our son would need to have open heart surgery. It was a more wait and see situation, and that wait and see took about a year and a half. And so for us, regardless of what it takes to get there, open heart surgery is scary. And so what I want to share with you guys today is three creative ways you can celebrate your kid along that journey. So the first thing that you can do is host a pre-op party. And so knowing that you're going into open heart surgery, if you've had it, you kind of know they want you in a bubble before that time period. They want you to pull your kid out of school and kind of hunker down and keep kind of family and friends away. And knowing that, we wanted to be able to have some folks around so that once we got into that bubble, um, we had been able to see people before. And this was also moving into flu season, so obviously very cautious of that. And so we hosted a pre-op party, sent a Facebook invite to a lot of folks, including our friends and our family, but also to people we hadn't met before. So other heart moms whose kids had been on this journey. Uh, and we had a great turnout. We hosted at a park, so we couldn't get any germs within our house. Uh, and we had a lot of folks show up. Um, some people brought fun things we could do when we were stuck at home and in our bubble. Um, but it ended up being a really good time and our son probably thought it was his birthday but that's okay because he didn't we didn't tell him he's three years old you can't really tell your kid you're going in for surgery uh, and so we just let him know that we were celebrating him um, so that's really one of the first things that we did uh, the second thing that we did is we hosted a virtual birthday um, so unfortunately our uh, son will uh, birthday fell a week before surgery literally to the day and of course we weren't going to have everyone over even close family members we had done so much to keep illness out at this point our surgery date had already been bumped um, from some illnesses and so we thought about well what can we do well fortunately for work i have a zoom account which is a video conferencing link and so we used that to invite about 20 of our family members from london to oregon all over texas and they called in via our laptop and we set it up just like we would any birthday party in the backyard. We put a table outside, we had a cake with dinosaurs, of course, on request of our son, and put gifts all around the table. And um, we had him run out the door and kind of see everything and everybody online who was dialing in was able to see him, see his cake and get excited. We all sang happy birthday through uh, the Zoom account and watched him blow out his candles and then watched him open his gifts and thank people on the screen, which was very surreal. Um, but it was something that was really uh, memorable and it, it all came together kind of quick, but I was really glad we did it because it felt like he had a birthday. Uh, we also did another one that afternoon put on by some of his um, friends from school and so it was a great way for him to also get to see some of his classmates before he was not going to be there for a while. Um, so that's really the second thing that you can do and then the third thing um, being kind of a creative background a designer and somebody who loves branding uh, I created a brand uh, for our son and a lot of people do that in the form of a hashtag um, a lot of folks do different types of shirts for me we did we heart will was the slogan um, we came up with and so I printed these on a bunch of buttons um, and gave them out to our friends our family because I really wanted them to wear them on the day of his surgery I knew it was going to be hard we'd be stuck in a waiting room and somehow with them wearing that was comforting to me to know that we'd have this army of people just supporting our son and showing pride for him and it really was we had a flood of texts and images that morning while we were in the waiting room and i will never forget it and then probably the most memorable thing is when one of the um, dell children's hospital staff came to us while we were waiting and said that they had just saw um, Dr. Frazier and his team wheeling Will out of the OR after open heart surgery and they all had pins on and it was as if it was this just like Will pride show. And so, um, so I had a lot of pride in that. It was very comforting, um, but it was also entertaining in that we had this bucket right here of pins in the hospital and nurses and staff and anyone who would come on we'd offer them a pen some people took them some people didn't no pressure um, but it became kind of a fun thing to see around the hospital um, and then as a thank you to the staff uh, during the holidays after we were out of surgery we're now 10 weeks post-op this week uh, we brought back buttons that were more branded to the hospital and more fun um, like karaoke champ and you make my heart sing and OR Austin, some pride for our, our in-town um, medical facility. 
and we gave those to the staff and um, and hope that that would be something fun for them to keep as well they're obviously not going to keep a button <laughs> around my child um, anyway so those are three creative things that you can do to really celebrate your kid along the way i'd love to hear more creative ideas if you have them um, if you could share them comment let us know um, i think the more we can do to try and make the best of a really hard situation when we're in it is um, is all you can really do uh, in that moment. So um, I hope this helps. <laughs>